guys, this is Satoshiba Mama. Thank you for watching our video. Thank you for being there for us. Please do not forget to share with your friends and press the notification button. Also follow us on Facebook, on Toshable Mama page. You can also see me on Toshable Mama backup page. We are there for you. Thank you for being there. Thank you, one love. I appreciate each and everyone. Bye. A warm salutation to every one of us out there. I strongly believe we all are doing great. We must continue to make efforts, we know we can, to get our place in place. We know of the constraints. We know of the constraints which has to do with the development of a place we are not unaware despite those challenges we are still charged with the responsibility to continue to make efforts to get our place in place we are right here to talk about the big issues behind the fight between His Excellency Godunoyega Sorbaseki and His Excellency Governor Wiki of River States. I am so happy because I've, I've gotten a lot of responses from Governor Wiki and Governor Obaseki. A lot of responses. They're trying to tell us the reasons why they are fighting. But I wouldn't want we the public to go deray with the information they are feeding us with. Because the information they are feeding us with might not be the real big issue behind their disagreements and their struggle. Now let's look at the responses we've gotten so far, both from His Excellency Governor Asobaseki and Governor of River State, Governor Wiki. If you go through their responses, if you've gone through their responses and have got to vet their responses, you will get to know that the common man's interest is not in their fight. I want to use this medium to appreciate His Excellency Governor uh, Wiki of River State for your cooperation during the last election. We cannot forget in a hurry. The alliance was a, a, a fruitful one and a favorable one. You see, your disagreement with, your disagreement with His Excellency Governor of Baseki it's not enough to drag us backward in a state. We so much appreciate you. Disagreement can take place between two people who might have understanding at any time. This is not the first time it's happening. Because it has happened with other other governors of other states. And you we all know put the video more than watch and God bless you all for all the when they want to get there, they, they get to form an alliance. Your child say but once they get there, that moment, we don't try, usually know the issue behind the disagreement we do get all of a sudden. Okay. That he two people who came together like brothers and fought together, like right now they are no more together. So there are a lot of issues behind it. So it is very good for me to state clearly here that this is not the first time this is happening in the whole federation. His Excellency Governor Asop Paseki is not the first governor to disagree with his, the people he, he formed an alliance with. So, sir, 
We also want you to know that we believe in you as a leader because we believe you joined us in the struggle to make sure that we have a viable leader in the position to do for us what we want him to do for us. The projection of His Excellency Goinona Sobaseki is all about the development of the place and the people. That is our major interest. So right now, I believe the fight is going to put an end to a lot of things and going to distract us from a lot of things. I want you to extend your great hands of love and of help to the people of Benin again by dropping the fight. Because I believe whatever differences you both might have, you can still find a better way to resolve them. Oh, wow. Big sister, I greet you so, so much. Uh, thank you so much for this information. Thank you so much for this information. And, uh, please pardon me. I need to do something right now. Kindly pardon me. So right now, personally, from my observations and from my meticulous attention towards the responses from Governor Wike and Obaseki, I don't see the representation of the common man's interest there. So with the masses, we must be very careful how we give attention to things that are not necessary. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Diamond. You're really a diamond. Thank you so much. I'm very, very grateful. I was trying to do that here and it's trying to get me into uh, distraction, so I just have to leave it. So with the masses, we have to stay focused. His Excellency, God in all of Baseki, you always have our support. For as much you continue to have in mind the fight for development for the people of Bini Kingdom and Edo State at large. We supported you all along and we are still supporting you for one agenda you projected before us. And sir, we want you to please kindly don't forget that you have a lot of projects on ground. Don't forget that there are a lot of projects you've not even started. There are some you've started and a lot of us are with the opinion that you might not be able to finish them. So we will also advise you not to go into anything that will distract you, sir. We need you, we need you to stay strong and together with your own self with the support you have from us to fulfill all your projects as planned. Let me use this medium to give a report about the ongoing construction of Benin Abraka Expressway. For about two weeks now, the big robots that the contractors are using to work, they are just on the road, not even properly packed. The road users, we are having a lot of inconveniences. For two weeks now, they've not come to work. They started this work from Evarwe, they are still within the Evarwe region. So, sir, please, this is what interests us most in your administration. The implementations of projects is our earnest desire in this very present administration. So, kindly, sir, we want you to check with the contractor.
to know what is the problem. We were supposed to have up to about three contractors. We just have only one working for about a year now. I'm struggling with the work. Right now, the work is not even ongoing. And we don't know what is the problem. So we have big issues facing us. Big issues. I truly do not have much interest about the issue between you, His Excellency, uh, Governor of River State, Wiki, and you. I don't have much interest. But the reason why I have to step on this is to let you know that distraction is about to take place. Because if you begin to struggle for all these things, there is every tendency that there is a delay from the proper plan of development. So we want you to stay very strong with the plans. And we want you to know that our support still remains with you. Whatever it might be that is your aspiration, we, the people of Edo State, we will stand with you. We will continue to stand with you for as much as we are seeing the implementations of the projects that you have promised the states. We are strongly with you. Fully on ground for you. To support you to get to whatever length you want to get to. Whatever political career you want to pick up. We are strongly behind you. For good. But this statement of mine can only have an assurance if we begin to see the implementations of the projects in the two states. Uronibe is still bleeding. Still bleeding. A lot of us came out to talk about the issues in Uronibe. We appealed that you come into the issue. The matter has not subsided. We have not seen your move as our leader, the governor of the states. And right now, the issue we have on ground is you getting into MOU with the Funanese to give them a large portion of land in Edo State. We love you, sir. But we must talk about this thing so that you will know about our displeasure over some moves from your end. I want us to use Ozuwan in Enugu State as a case study over our displeasure. The people of Ozuwan had memorandum of understanding with the Funanese. But we also the destruction. The people were massacred. Properties were destroyed by those who came for them to be accommodated. The situation was a pitiable one. Apart from us who wanted, let's take it down to other communities they've been to. I'm not trying to condemn the Fulanis. I'm not saying we should not accommodate the Fulanis. We have a lot of Fulanis who are into other businesses. In Edo State, we don't have, they don't have any disturbance. And there has never been a time where they even had issues with any of us. But you see this category of those who are really catches. They don't know what is memorandum of understanding. They don't know what is MOU. And that is why we are here to project our displeasure that you should discontinue such process. No matter the development you think it might bring to us, we don't think we need it. We must not agree to every policy. Because you might, you might create this and leave. 
and we will continue to suffer it. So we don't want it so. We don't want to create a problem for ourselves. We don't want to go into contract with people we ordinarily know that the only way they solve issues, when they have issues, is to start killing people, is to start raping people, is to start kidnapping people. We condemn such lifestyle and we cannot accommodate people like that. We cannot. We can afford to do businesses with other categories of funanists, but not these caturieras. Because when, before they come into your place to possess your place, they usually come with the, 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 the strength and the immunity from the great political leaders from the north. They always come with shields. From top political leaders from the north. That is why when time comes for them to start up their destruction, they don't like AK-47. They don't like sophisticated weapons. So I believe this one you are getting into with them. The, 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 the top political leaders in the north are part of it. They are part of it. There is no way you will have an agreement with people without disagreement coming in. But how people handle their disagreement is what we are talking about here. Like you are having a dis you are having disagreement with Governor Wiki. So far, so good. No single soul have dropped down. To some extent, you guys are still in control of the issue. But we are talking about people right here who have single issues that ordinarily dialogue can solve. Ordinarily conversations, communication can solve. But they go on their own way, begin to torment the place. Let me also bring to your notice, sir. I don't want to dwell so much on the issue of... Uh, between you and Governor Wiki. I, I talked to people, I, I, wrote, I, wrote, I wrote it out on my Facebook that let's discuss about the big issues behind the fight between His Excellency Goinoga Sobaseki and Governor Wiki of River State. The big issues you and I don't know, the big issue can be so ugly that the both of them cannot come before the public and tell us. But because they are politicians, they can always fabricate and project before us. They might not be telling us the real thing. That's why we are not supposed to allow their fight to distract us. Look at it carefully. Do you think as hard as, as this country and the economy of this country, do you think Governor Wiki is going through what an ordinary man in this country going through? The common masses. Do you think what is, SL, what is SLSC? Do you think this ad economy is affecting? Is SLSC going on as a person the way it's affecting you and I, the common masses? These are things we should look into reality. Our leadership just has to do with when you get there, you get established. It has nothing to do with establishing the people. I also want to bring to your notice, sir. Governor Godwin Ogega Sobaseki, that the Chinese companies in Edo State need to be properly checked. I have my information intact and my evidence. I don't want to quote a particular Chinese company and the community. As we speak right now, these people they have mopos with them. They have soldiers with them. They have police with them. It's not enough. Now they are recruiting their own personal security using our own people. Where did they get the license from? Do they really even have the license? And if they have the license, on what modality? On what reasons? They have young boys now they are constricting. They recruit as their own personal mopos. 
Meanwhile, they have the soldiers there. They have the police there. They have the motors there. Why do they need their personal security? Please, we are very happy these people have come to invest with us. We must always look carefully into what they are doing. We shouldn't allow things to get out of hand before we begin to react and respond. They've come for business. The security they need, they've gotten the highest. I don't think the personal security they are recruiting is necessary in the business they are come, they've come to do in our land. When you go outside this country, do you know what it means for you to own a security company? Call it private. It will take you a lot before you get there. So, so many Chinese companies in the state right now are recruiting our own boys as their own security. Because the best way your enemy, anyone can get you easily is to use someone very close to you. Or use your own people. So I think it's so unnecessary for them to start recruiting our boys as a personal security. If they're having issues with the army guarding them, they should let the government, the government know. If they're having issues with the police guarding them, they should let the government know. None of them are be having any security issues. So let's kindly go through all these things. We have a lot of works on ground. A lot of works. And we are willing and ready to continue to support you, sir. Only if you continue with the implementations of projects. A lot of projects are suffering in those states, states right now. The ones you started, they are suffering right now. We don't want to distract the administration. That's why we don't go about trying to, to, to bring out the ugly part of it all. But sir, please, we don't want you to disappoint us. Because we have invested so much in your administration. We have invested so much in this administration. We invested so much because this administration, the administration happened to be one that we so much believe in. The one who believe that we come to alleviate the people, emancipate the people, develop the land. And that is why we invested on it. We thought it wise. So this is my personal opinion. I know a lot of other people have been talking about issues that have to do with Governor Ogasio Obaseki and Governor Wiki. But this is my own take. Because if you listen to the both of them, Governor Wiki is not against His Excellency Governor Ogasio Obaseki because the projects he have in Benin, they are suffering. It's not attacking him because they are, we are not seeing implementations of projects. It's not attacking because the youth don't have jobs. Despite they don't want to tell us the real issue behind their fight, but if you still look at the ones they've pre they presented before us, you find out that this is not worth giving attention to. So we have a lot before us. Governor Oge Gasson Basaki will com complete his tenure and he will never get to suffer anything again in his life. Did it set some standard for the masses? Did it set some standard for the masses? Even though it cannot achieve it all within eight years, what mechanism do we have on ground through his administration that these things must come to pass, even though someone else comes in? Do we have it? We don't have it. So I pray the Lord continue to bless us all. Bless Edo land. And let us learn to remind the leaders that they have huge responsibility being leaders. There is no support. It's as going on as Obaseki has lacked from us. We've always been there for him, even in a time like this. That's why I'm appealing to Governor Wiki to please drop the fire because 
It will not do us any good. You have done something good for the people of Edo State. Our ancestors will reward you. God will reward you. So, let God will not ask Obaseki be. So, he can implement the projects on ground. This is my take. The projects we have in Edo State right now, to me, they are sick and suffering. So, I believe what the governor should be concerned about right now is to know why is this project sick? Why is this project slow? The contractor that is, contract, that is, that is constructing the Bini Abraka Express Road, what is the problem? Why has it packed his big robots on our road for about two weeks right now? They couldn't even clear the big robot of the way. The person coming from Oriomon has to wait for someone going through from Bini. If the Bini's own, if the other ones all start going, the ones coming from beneath have to pack one side for those ones to go through. They just left the thing there as if the robots spoiled and they couldn't get a way to get it out. For complete two weeks now, no job is ongoing. No job is ongoing. These are issues that really affect us that we're concerned about. One of our brothers kidnapped in Uronibi. Since today, we do not got into to hear his whereabouts. We don't even know the effort of the state government. And now government wants to go into memorandum of understanding with some people who do not have understanding. The categories of the full and needs you want to go into memorandum of understanding with, they don't have understanding. We, 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 we do accommodate people. We have a lot of phone and niece who are yet doing genuine business, doing good businesses. And they don't have an issue. There have never been a time there is a disagreement or a kind of fight that gets to escalate. But check the ones, check the cartoonerers. Everywhere they go. This is not about Bini people, this is not about Igbo people, this is not about uh, Yoruba people. Anywhere they go, they create issues around. So please have discontinue with such process to give them the land. Though the government owns the land, but you as one man, you are not supposed to create problem for us. If the land belongs to government, it belongs to all of us. We can as well tell you what we should use the land for. If cattle business is what we want in Edo State now, right now, so allow me to give you, give me the charge, the responsibility to give you, to give you the, the, the budget. Allow me to give you the budget. And I tell you, a lot of illustrious sons of this land that will invest into it and we will have it. It must not be full on this. Land must not be given to fullness. We have financial pillars in this land. Of course, you know, you can attest to it. When you needed that financial assistance, the Edo people came to your rescue. It wasn't someone else, it wasn't other people from elsewhere. Some Edo people came in, they put in, they lodged in their hard earned income. They came in and showed that financial strength. So, I want to also tell you. If cattle business is what we need right now in Edo State, we are capable to run it ourselves and own it ourselves. So with all due respect, I've decided to hell out my view and my opinions. And as an intelligent leader you are, I know you should be able to look into all these things carefully. Look into them carefully. I believe the consensus between the Fulanese and the people of Runigwe, you were never part of it. And that's why the issue seems so very tiresome to you. You've not been able to do anything about it. So, soldier goes, soldier come. Barak remains the same. Your days are numbered in that office. But we pray you will finish well. 
don't bring in policies that will destroy the good policies you've created. You see this very one? It's not it at all. We are all humans. At the time, we used to make sense, and all of a sudden, someone who is making sense might as well not make sense. He's a human. And when he's not making sense, people around me to tell him, you are not making sense. If he's really a man that is sensible, he will understand that, yes, this one, when I talk, no follow. So you'll be doing a lot of fantastic things. But you see, for this one, it's a no-go area. You know, work. Allow us to modify it. The Edo people can own these very investments. Yes, Edo people. Edo people. We, no matter the millions the, the business requires, no matter the billions. I don't want to use the word that the full and needs are no richer than us. I don't want to use the word. So may the Lord continue to bless us all. And I want to assure you right here that, sir, you have our support. Just continue to implement the projects on ground. And the ones you've not started, start them. The ones you've started, please finish them. 